Hello, I have a little craft update for you because I have finished a cross stitch. So this is from the Cross Stitch for the Earth book by Emma Congdon. Beautiful book, lots of lovely designs in here. And so I have finished it. Really enjoyed the stitching on this one at this time of year. Um, so yeah, most of, well, half of the colours are called for. Half of the colours I just picked from Stash because I didn't want to buy more threads because I have plenty already. <laughs> so um, yeah, so I did like the Karen water lilies at the sea and at the bottom here. But I was just having fun with it because it is a fun design. There are plenty of errors in it, <laughs> of course. But yeah, it's just a fun stitch and I'm looking forward to having it up on the wall. This one is definitely going to be a framed piece. Like I say, it does feel very summery to me. So yeah, really loving that. Really enjoyed stitching the birds with the sunflowers. And then I went back down to the bottom to finish off those trees and the rocks. It is just stitched on a plain white 28 count even weave. That's all there is to say. Lovely design. I really enjoyed stitching it. And I'm looking forward to stitching more in that book. And so that is that one. So because I'm finished that one meant that I had to, I was going to get out another project. I am only working on one project at a time. I find that works for me, but I have got this Tarot for Stitchers by Tiny Modernist, and this is a year sale. So you get two cards of the tarot cards each month, and I am behind. So I thought I'd better catch up with this one. So I am stitching the first one for the July, what came out in July. So it's the Wheel of Fortune, this one. So I haven't finished this yet. I am working through it. Once again, this one started off with the main colours for the piece, but and I've been adding to it extra colours just once again, because it's fun. Um, not because there's anything wrong with the designs, I just thought I would like to introduce some different colours. So the buttons here I've changed a little bit and I put this purple one in but I'm not sure if it's a good colour for there but I shall see when it's all done if it just works with that. So the Wheel of Fortune is the card for change, the Wheel of Life is forever changing so things are what you know is when you're on an up there's going to come a down and when you're down there's going to be an up <laughs> so yeah depending on how your life is at that time will show what's going to come up if you're going to have a change so um, yeah so it's always good when you're on a down to know that things are going to change for the up but not so good if you're up and things are going to change for the down <laughs> But yeah, change can be good as well as bad. So the green that I'm using is a DMC, but it's a colorist one. Um, it's charted for stripes of two different greens, but I've just been using this because I already had some left over. I thought it would be nice just to do it. So you get this effect up here rather than block stripes that is charted. You get more of a subtle stripe. So I've been using that. I will take it out of the frame and show you the full one when I've finished this card. But now I'm not long to go. I didn't really want to take it out of the frame and then put it back in. So I shall probably move it over anyway. So I should take it out and take show you what it all is. I don't know. If I've got a picture of it from before, then I'll put that up so you can see it now. But yeah, I really enjoy these designs because as you can see, if you haven't seen it before, each one is completely different. 
So it's really interesting to stitch. I was worried when it first came out, sort of when I first went, I didn't think I'd ever do a sale like this, a mystery one, because I thought, what if I don't like it? What if it gets too repetitive? But this is totally different. It's like a total new little cross stitch every single card. So yeah, really enjoying that. I did change out the needle for a gold needle, just like I did for this one up here for the Emperor. I put a gold needle there and I will probably, where this thread comes down, I should probably stop it further up. That's why I didn't finish it because this colour does not work well on the green. So it's not going to show up anyway and it doesn't need to be, it doesn't need to go that far down. So I should probably end that sooner. All the back stitching should be in the original chart as a dark brown but once again i change it up just to add more color because i like it to be colorful <laughs> so that is what i'm cross stitching right now so moving on to knitting so first of all i have finished the socks i'm not woven in my ends i only finished them last night so i'll probably weave in my ends tonight as a nice little job to do so that's why I've got a little bit of a hole there because it's where I changed again because I didn't like how the stripe was striping so I changed it again for a different stripe Should, probably shouldn't have changed it there but yeah <laughs> it'll be fine once I weave it in and get the stitches lined up so we've got sock one and two that is how they're looking. I'll get myself out of the way. So they don't line up. I knew I wasn't intending them to line up, but I wanted them to blend so they were similar. And I think I've achieved that. So I'm quite happy with that. There's my heels at the back. So yes, I've got two of the grey, like folk, folk, faux, fair isle, and one of the um turquoise and i've got two gray and a turquoise on there so i think that's good enough so i'm happy with those so once i've finished those i did mention before that because oops nothing things on the floor as usual um i did mention when i showed you my cow and i said i've got more plenty more yarn i said i'd like to do some mitts so last night I cast on some little soccer mitts because I've used this pattern before. I'm just holding it singly this time. But then I thought, oh, I'll show my other mitts. So show how they knit up because I've done them before. So I couldn't remember what color I'd done them in. And so I went rummaging in my drawer and I pulled them out and they're this color. And I thought, hold on a minute, wouldn't that colour go with that colour already? <laughs> so then I came to a bit of a stop because then I thought, oh, do I really want to make more mitts when I've got these that will go nicely with that anyway? Because I don't need to be matchy-matchy. I thought, with my blue coat, isn't that good enough? So then I thought, oh, I've lost... I've lost my spark now to knit on this. So what am I going to do? So I thought, let's have a rummage in my yarn that I've got and just put that on hold and think about what I want to do. And so I was rummaging in my stash and I thought, actually, I've got quite a few yarns that seem to go well together. And I've got a lot of this left over. I've got two balls of this which aren't as soft to be used. And I thought, could I actually make like a scrappy flax out of all this and bring these together? But I'm thinking I don't want to do it as a fingering weight, a four ply one. What about if I held them to de together? and then sort of like tweeted one into the other. So I thought, actually, that sounds quite interesting and exciting to me. 
So I thought, yes, that is what I'm going to do. So what I'm, I've got some things here because they're not all, that is from the socks I've just finished. I'm thinking, can I make that work in this as well? Because there's loads of that left. I've got a sock head hat that I want to pull back because I don't wear this. I didn't actually wear a hat at all last winter. Um, and this one I don't tend to wear because it moves around my head. So I end up like this. But I could end up like this. <laughs> and look, I don't I don't like hats for two reasons. One is because I use frizzies and straighteners, and so it tends to move around because my hair's too soft. And another thing is I don't like hats with glasses on me. I just no. So I just don't generally wear hats. I have got a hat and I will wear it if it's really cold, but so this doesn't really get used because if I'm going to wear a hat, it means it's really cold. And so I use my chunky, like white, creamy coloured one because that's lovely and warm. It's, I made it in the drop snow and so it's really thick and warm. So that's the one I go to if I need, need a hat, but I don't wear hats as a fashion statement because I don't think they do do anything for me. So I thought I can pull that back because I'm all about re-knitting things. If it's not being used, I'm not enjoying it, pull it back, You actually use it. And also I've got this because whenever I've worn this in the past, I love the yarn, just like the hat, I love the yarn. The yarn isn't the problem. I don't really enjoy shawls. And I generally, when I have a shawl, I will wrap it round so it looks like a cowl. That's why I make cowls more now. But then it separates and comes apart. And yeah, so loving the colour on me, but I will pull out a cowl rather than mess about with this because you put it on, wrap it around, and then after a while it starts coming down and yeah. So I like things easy. So I'm gonna pull that back as well, so that can go into it. I've got this little scrap that I don't know if it will work, but I sure can see. So yeah, I think that I've got, whoop, I've got quite a lot there to knit up and have some fun with. So I'm thinking for the flax, as I say, DK weight flax, I'm gonna start off with two strands of this for the collar because I prefer a rib in a block colour but then change from two strands of this to one strand of this and maybe one strand of this because this isn't going to last too long and then I'll carry on and for, for the whole ball of this but then start introducing something different so I may put a bit of that in, a bit lighter while it's smaller at the top, I don't know, or that one, we shall see, but that's what I'm thinking, I'm going to start off, this is Drops Nord, it's like a petrol greeny blue, and so yeah, start off with that, then one strand of that, one strand of the merino and the turquoise, oops, and I just think that is going to look quite nice and it'll blend rather than be stripes of the different scrappy sort of project i'm hoping it will like blend more because i'm going to have two yeah 200 grams of this going through to start with and then when i get down further i've got this one which is very similar so start using this one instead of that so like try and uniform it a bit we all know this is going to go wrong and it's not going to be to plan, but let's just play with it, have fun. It's only knitting, like I say, it's not working, pull it back, reuse it. You get twice the fun for the same amount of money you spent on the first bit of yarn. So that's what I'm going to do. So that is my plan for now. So like I say, I should be doing the ends for this tonight 
and carrying on with some cross stitch as well. So I, I have been doing my knitting in the evening, TV knitting, and doing my cross stitch in the daytime. But I can see this because it's that unknown how's it going to look is going to take over, I'm sure. So yeah, I shall try and take little clips so you can see the tears of frustration <laughs> and why I ripped it back. <laughs> no, it's gonna it's gonna work. It's gonna be a lovely sweater. To I want to make it quite big as well because what I'm thinking is I'm starting work in September and I'm going to be working seven till twelve in the morning. So I'll be coming home at lunchtime and getting changed. And it'd be nice to have something relaxed and just put on that's like loose and comfortable going into autumn and winter. So that's what I'm thinking. Just something nice that isn't precious that I can just fling on at lunchtime and just have having like being at home exact most of the time then. But yeah, that is the plan. We shall see how it works out. So have a lovely weekend and I shall see you again probably Monday. Take care. Bye for now.